This is Banana Land R by Volcanica, a jump map for Team Fortress Classic. This map is probably most famous for appearing in a star in German video of TFC, which would have been a lot of Team Fortress 2 players' first experience of what Team Fortress Classic looked and played like. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this yeah, this is this is a great texture. <laughs> this isn't like painful to look at. This video on map became so well known that a post tribute to Banana Land appears in TF2, both in Banana Bay and Pier. I wasn't able to contact Volcanica. Searching for them shows they made several different maps, sometimes using an EFF clan tag. I did notice some of the links on this website were for Volcanica's website, which, no surprise, has been down for a very long time. The Wayback Machine did have two captures of Volcanica's website, one which was clearly still in development, and one that only has broken pictures on it. The first capture from April 2003 shows a very basic website that was still in development. There's a lot of missing content and only link to a map is dead. The second capture from June 2003 only shows two dead images. If you inspect the images, it shows one was for what I assume would be an animated GIF of a website under construction, yes I said GIF, and a reference to a DLO clan that can also be seen in the website's header. Sadly, the leads end here. I wasn't able to find an email or a readme file with contact info like I do with some other map makers. So let's take a look at this puke green mess. On loading this map, the message of the day also refers to a delta. I was not able to find anything about them. As I mentioned at the start, this is a jump map. I guess the challenge comes from trying to work out where to jump with this messy texture work. Near important points you'll see a backpack that will infinitely spawn health and ammo for you. The goal of this map is to try and collect these crescent shaped bananas. The more you jump, the more soot and blood is left behind, making it somewhat easier to navigate around the map. In this first room, there are three bananas in this cross shape room, and two on each side of the roof areas. To get to the upper parts, I had to do a double rocket jump. I'm not the best rocket jumper in TF2 and this is also true for Team Fortress Classic. Once all the bananas in a room are collected, you'll hear a glass breaking sound, meaning the next room is open. The next room has a force that pushes you to one side of the room if you're below a certain point. There are four bananas to collect here. One behind each post, and one at the far end of the room. The ones at the far end were the trickiest to get.
The next room has this ski ball esque setup. Where you have to try and get in this red spinning thing while getting bounced around by these blue spinning things. You can't rocket jump over them, by the way. I took the cheater's way out, which meant I had to reload the map to use SV Cheats 2. Yes, 2, because SV Cheats 1 doesn't work in TFC for some reason. I no clipped my way to where I was before and used said no clip to get the banana and the red spinny thing. I imagine this part would be a quicker on a server full of players, but it's just me. The next room pushes you to the roof. Now you have to rocket jump in the reverse to get the bananas. Quite an interesting twist. The room after doesn't even require rocket jumping. You can just ride these big spinning wheels around to where the banana is to pick them up. After picking up all the bananas in the room, a giant L, which I assume to be a banana, appears. Walking into it teleports you to a human Plinko machine. It doesn't seem to work quite right as I can control where I go. Maybe this is because I'm using the Steam version of Gold Source rather than the original disc version? I don't know, maybe it's just how the map is. I was a bit confused when I tried to work out where the next door is. After taking the shoot again, I found myself in a room full of the giant L bananas and a button that moves very slowly once pressed. After a bit of a wait, the map resets, and it's over. So that's Banana Land. It's a shame I couldn't get in contact with its creator, but that's just how things are sometimes. I saw someone port this map to TF2, but um, it's, it's not good. Uh, no! Stick to the original. I would have loved to look at more volcanic as maps, or even ask them a few questions, but that was not possible this time. I would have really liked to know what they thought of their map's legacy, 